Hi, Keith here with another Minitab video tutorial. Yesterday I was working with someone with some data and we used a few methods that I thought might be useful to some other people. So here's what we were working with. We had records of sea level, that's the height of the tide, for different times of day and different days through the year. Now we used Excel's month and hour function to extract the number of the month, 1 through to 12, and the hour of the day, 0 through to 23, from the UTC time. And what we were interested in was how often the sea level exceeded a particular value. So we want to count up for each hour of the day and each month of the year how often the tide was greater than a particular value. So the first thing we're going to do here is to create an indicator variable. I'll call it t greater than 65 and it's going to take on a value of 0 if the tide is less than 6.5 meters and a value of 1 otherwise. So I'll use the calculator and in that variable I'll use this function to store zeros and ones sea level greater than or equal to 6.5. So there we have it. Whenever the sea level is less than 6.5 we get a 0 otherwise we get a 1. Now what I want to do is to summarize that information so that for January I have a count of how many times at the zero hour the tide exceeded 6.5 metres and the same for 1am, 2am and so on. So I'm going to use Minitab's summary statistics and what I can simply do is add up the values because that is the same as doing a count if the values are just zeros or ones. So stat, basic statistics. Now I don't want to display the descriptive statistics. I want to store them in the worksheet so that I can graph them. So that's the variable I'm interested in. And I want to summarize by month number, 1 through to 12, and hour, 0 through to 23. And on statistics, the only thing I'm interested in is the sum. Okay, so there we go, and Excel now, sorry, Minitab has summed up for January, hour 0 a.m., three times the tide exceeded 6.5 metres. And down here we can see a little cluster of values around the middle of the day when the tide was frequently greater than 6.5 metres. Now, what I would like to do is graph these results so that I can easily see patterns through time. So graph, and a good option here is the bar chart. And I've got different options here in Minitab. Counts of unique values, function of a variable, or values from a table. Now I've already summarized the information the way I want, so I'm going to use values from a table, and I'm going to use this option down here so that I can cluster by month and by hour. Okay, so the value I want to plot is sum and by var 1 here is the month and by var 2 is the hour. So I want to group by hour. And what I also want to do is to plot each month in a separate panel or a separate graph. So I need to look at the multiple graphs options. Now I can plot different variables on different panels or different graphs, but here I'm working with one variable, that sum one. So what I want to do is to plot different graphs by a particular variable, and I want to use the month variable by var one. And I want to plot that with the groups in separate panels. My alternative is on separate graphs, but that would give me a different graph for each month. I want separate panels on the same graph. OK, and OK. And there's the result for January, February, March, and so on through to December. We've got a plot of how often at 0 a.m., 1 a.m., 2 a.m., and so on 
the tide exceeded 6.5 meters. So all I would do now is just tidy this up a little bit. Click down here on the axis, control T to get the axis options, gap between clusters, turn that to zero. That tidies the graph up a little bit, makes it look a little bit nicer. The values on the bottom axis now are a little crowded together. Click again to edit the graph options. Tick increment here, turn off auto and change that to say 2. Hit OK. And now it's displaying a tick for every second hour, 0, 2 a.m., 4 a.m. and so on. And the last thing I might do is look at the alignment and turn that to 90 degrees. So it looks like that. And that's looking pretty good. Okay, I hope those techniques are useful.